Well, guys, I thought I was done. And still in the shop. Didn't even walk back into the house yet. And I got too excited and realized I forgot a couple of little steps. First, we're going to need to install our battery posts. They go in two holes in the lower body chassis right behind the upper chassis plate. Just like so. And if you guys are wondering what I did to the body or the lower chassis, uh, comment below and I'll make a video on how I painted it. Um, it is not model paint or rattle can. It is all paintbrush and uh, lower uh, two times multiplier clear coat. Anyways, now we're going to take our 5 millimeter uh, socket and we're just going to finish screwing them in there. It's a nice tight fit, which means it is a good, the right size. Always want to make sure you have the right size for the job. For some reason, this one isn't wanting to go on all the way, but that's okay. It's still doing the job that we need to. So let's go ahead and do these, and we will be right back. Once you have those two posts screwed in, now you can install your battery plate. Like so. You want to take your body clip pins. Now I like to just have them sitting in there. That way you always know where they're at. And the other thing we forgot to do was to install the front bumper. So that will be the next thing we're going to do. Now since we have the clips in, now we can rotate it to the front. Let's get a better angle here. Now we're going to want to install our front bumper. Which we have laying right here. I am going to be painting that in the long run. It's probably when I'll make a paint video for you guys. Now. There is two bolts on the bottom side of the front chassis. That is where the front bolts to the bumper is going to be held on by the chassis. Now let's go ahead and get those started and we'll be ready. Alright, now since our front bumper is now installed by those two screws in the front plate, just like I explained earlier, the bumper does go on the bottom of the chassis plate and then screws in. Just in case you guys didn't know from previous, just in case you're following along. And the next thing is not really a part that I forgot because it's not really a necessity because I do not have an on and off switch anymore. Is how I do my wires. So I want to get a better angle and we'll be right back. Alright, got a little bit of a better angle. Now what I like to do is, like I explained it. I believe in the last video is tucking my wire in between my receiver and the bottom chassis plate to help snug it up and make it look a lot cleaner just like so right here we're just going to slightly push it down with a small flathead but not forcing it so we don't puncture our wires but just slowly nice and Thorough. Push it down in there. Makes it nice and clean. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to install the plate for the on and off switch even though I removed the on and off switch. The reason for that is the servo wire is actually fed through the box. So I don't want the wire coming up and being ripped off by something if I end up rolling it. The other thing is we're going to try to clean up this ESC wire a little bit here. It's just, it's looking a little crazy going on right here. So we're going to, we're going to try to fix that up some. So let's go ahead and pull that out. And let's see if we can run it along inside here. Alright, now since we got the ESC wire 
coming down nice and smooth tucked away just like we did the like, servo wire got it plugged in channel 2 and we also have the receiver antenna wire coming down through the back port of the battery uh, not the battery the on and off switch box up to the antenna tube now let's go ahead and install the on and off switch plate that I mentioned earlier this is going to help keep everything all lined and attached so the servo wire will not come up out of place and end up catching you know like a branch or something like that while I'm on the trails because this is partially going to be on more trails just because that is my climate I don't really race um, it's just not really my thing I can't really afford to race right now so I pretty much just bash and take it out with some friends have a good time you know it's it's whatever you decide to do with your RC there's no you have to do it this way you know you got an RC do whatever you like with it you know it could be a two-wheel drive and turn into a trail truck or you know whatever you guys decide to do with it you know it's it's everyone's hobby and important thing of all it's your rig it's not anyone else's rig it's not how they want it you know like you guys don't have to be building this the same way I do you guys might have better ways to do it you know like whatever you guys advice is you guys have a better way I do it you guys want to see me do something like you know go ahead and don't be afraid to ask me you know all right so now that is installed now we are ready to throw a battery in and put some trails so now the next video will be a driving video hopefully it's not raining so we can actually get out and get some good footage thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys on the next episode of rc junkyard